Okay, we got that all done. Yeah, you know, just take a screwdriver, pop it out, came right out for me. Just make sure there's no dirt or something like that in the uh, arbor or whatever. You know. You know, make sure that's clean on the inside before you do anything. That's it. Just peel the splinters off and things all good. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna try find oh, there we go. Two of them fell off when I was drilling that. Hold on a second. Now what we're gonna do is take this here and flare it. Because compression fitting is not as uh, tight as a flare fitting, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna flare this tube here so it fits in the flare fitting. Do that. And we're gonna have that all squared away so have a nice tight seal, airtight seal. What you do is you get one of these things called a flare kit. This is an oldie. And it goes on like this here. Oops, sorry. Yeah, goes on like that, right there. Go for that uh, quarter inch one right there. And you just tighten it down until you get uh, flare out of it. Let me show you. Could cut it, but I'm gonna show you that in a few seconds. This thing wants to cooperate. Okay. So when you do this, it's a bit of a, a little tricky. A bit of an art in some ways. Kinda gotta get the uh gotta be able to eyeball it. It's a little too far out. You don't want it to be flush, because that right there, it's going to be uh, coming, you know, pushing out. But at the same time, you do not want it to stick out too far, because otherwise, this thing is going to uh, split outward, it's going to split radially, and it's going to be all crap. And you got to got to cut the tube again, flare it all over again. That's not fun. So you got to fight with this thing. This is hard. This right here is harder to uh, tighten than this. Just tighten this down. Don't want to kill it. Just so it doesn't do something stupid. Doesn't come out. So that's good right there. Back this up. Take that on. Put that in there. Like so. Mm. Uh, for a second. And just tie it down. Don't be too radical, I guess. Just get something stupid. Uh, ha! Some retard happened. Figured. Okay, back that up. Make sure it's straight. This thing suck. Especially when you have this margin for error that something stupid is going to happen. There's so many different ways. Be the flare messing up or whatever. Okay, so that's what you want it to look like on the bottom. And caught that already. So, see that? Let's flare it. Want to kill the thing? Oh. Look for what you think it should look like. Don't tie in the hell out of it. This has got to be flared, a little bit warped, a little warped, and uh, that's it. That's a half ass, not even fine. Yeah, go overkill here. This is stupid guy. Okay. Let's see. Okay, it actually looks good. Amazingly enough, before it was like this side was sticking straight up and this thing was all waffled down, pinned to the thing. I'm like, ah, oh, this is going to look like crap. Okay, so that looks good. Let's 
So now we have a flared fitting, sort of, ish thing. It looks kind of warped, but whatever. Yeah. And what you do is take a little pipe cutter, um, mark right there, like so. Tie that. Like I said, for absolute beginners. You know, just don't know what in the hell to do. Go get this pipe cutter. How many one? About five bucks. What you do? Turn it around. Goes loose. Turn around a few times. Goes loose. Like that. And then you just tie in again. Just a little bit. Don't try and kill it. And you just keep this little process up. So, eventually, cut through it. This kind of bit, yep. Do it. That's the last one. All right. Whisker there. There you go. So, that's one end of the flare fin. This is going to fit on the uh, inside. To show you, this thing's still holding vacuum. Okay, so this right here is going to be this end. Like uh, so. Alright. So, I'm going to pause it now. No difference between that side and the other side. I'm going to come back and we're going to be doing the uh, flare valves. Okay, so now what we're going to do is, uh, turns out, I forgot to turn the piece of paper. Forgot, you gotta use uh, one of these, poke a hole. So, uh, hey, big. Try not to stick yourself, of course. And, uh, pretty much fine, a screwdriver or something like that. Phillips head's fine. Yeah. Poke a hole through cap, make a hole through the tube. screwdriver so they are right there like hole these two together like so so no big surprise exotic technique so let's, let's take a little bit of PC7 like this Have a little, have this thing sticking out a bit more than what you want it to be. So what you could do is you just retract it, you know, toward the flare uh, flare direction, and I'll just suck it in a little bit. Try and keep this as clean as you can, so I don't screw it up. It's not good when you get a lot of crap on the uh, electro like the last one. This one, right here. No, I try and wipe it away. It keeps it on uh, getting in there. Okay. So that's good right there. Put it on. Absolutely artistic there. So take that. Go around. And what you have is a really high quality seal. Yeah. So, 
got that now. Uh, let that set for a little bit. And I'm going to show you the uh, flare fin after I get my hand all cleaned up so I don't screw up the copper. Okay, guys, <clears throat> see how I do this. Right uh, here. Deal. Get a little Teflon tape. Get this at like Rite Aid or hardware store or something. Go to Lowe's in the plumbing section. They got this for uh, sale here. Just take a little bit of it. Make sure it's clean. In this case, it isn't, so. Put a little bit of it off. Rivet. Put it out there. That nice clean tape. So, what you do is you do both ends. Start with the bigger end uh, first. You wrap it around clockwise. Preferably, at least. My preference. There's some whiskers there. Like that. And just go around a little bit. Like so. All right, two or three times. No. Looks all nice. There's like a spark plug on it. Then I do that. Do this in here. Try and stay away from that flare fitting. Right there, you don't want that to uh, get over in here or something like that. Might uh, bother the uh, seal you have on it. Sure, stuff doesn't stick out or come otherwise become a possible pain in the neck. The other one here. Like so. Make sure that's uh, spread out a little more. It's not all clumped together. Don't want this big lump there. Just want to be as even as you uh, possibly get it. See a little dot in there. If you can see that. Make sure you get that out. So, yeah, make sure this whole thing's clean before you start doing this. Otherwise, you know, just Murphy's Law multiplies. There you go. Okay, so take that like that. Take a little pipe dope. All right. Make sure you mix it up good. Because you have a uniform surface, it's now watery or it's whatever. It's not dripping like crazy either. Stuff stinks. It's dripped on me too. And, uh,. Try and keep it away from the inside. Yeah. I recommend using epoxy. See the uh, epoxy over there, but I recommend you don't try and use PC7 or something like that. This typical pipe dope would do. Try and evenly, uh, you can see that there. Evenly coat it. Not too much uh, excess or whatever. Wipe that off. And no big deal. Make sure it's clean. Forgot to have a pair of pliers. Or adjustable wrench in this case. Take adjustable wrench. That don't need to go overkill with it. Just need to get a uh, good seal. Yeah. 
and do that. That's good enough. Don't need to tighten it till it doesn't tighten anymore. That's fine. Make sure you keep this clean right here. Like that. Okay. As it turned out, I think I flared it too much or something. So, I don't know, it's a, re it's a really, really fine line. Really fine line about uh, how far the pipe should uh, protrude it from the uh, top of that uh, flaring kit. If it's too much, it isn't going to even uh, go through. If it's too little, it's not even going to make a good contact with this right here. So, as you can see, right there, it's pretty decent. Makes a good uh, ish contact. I'd like to make a bigger one, but it just doesn't cooperate otherwise. So I'm gonna put this on here now and tighten the bastard. Things starting to irk me. It's, it's so typical, stupid flaring kit. Nice going to buddy guys. I'll. You know, that's most of them, I'll tell you. Well, most are insane. That flaring kit's a pain in the neck. Anyway, that's uh, somebody who knows when to open up. Okay, so we got that in now. That's all squared away finally. And uh, even with the simplest of prob even with the simplest of uh, things to create. Stupid things can still happen. You know, things can still go wrong. For example, that right there is supposed to have a flaring nut on it <laughs> before you flare it. So just remember that. So before you make the plug, make sure you have a flaring nut on it. Okay, we finally got that upper part done. Finally, right? So I'm going to probably give us about a day, let it dry out first, let the adhesive on this uh, cap here settle first and foremost, All right here this uh, epoxy. Then I'm going to uh, take some steel wool, you know, buff that up, you know, make that really nice and polished and stuff. Might want to sand this or something like that, you know, sharp edge or something like that. But uh, yeah, it looks really nice. Looks really nice now. And uh, that's about it. No real difference now. You know, it's shorter. And we got this here and this here. It's shorter because of the uh, length of the copper pipe. Yeah, but still good. Just, you know, put that in and be all good. Who knows, maybe I'll let this uh, settle instead of putting uh, instead of putting uh, epoxy around here, maybe I'll try and see how much of vacuum I can get away with before it starts to uh, pull the air out of it. But, Pretty good. Hmm.